thought you weren't coming till four. It is four. Uh. Ah, much better. Hello and welcome. My name is Connor Thompson, but I'm sure you already know that. How could you forget? I know I can. Let's go somewhere more comfortable. Today is a very special day. Today is the day of Connor Thompson's open house. And as you all know, I am Connor Thompson. So Connor thought that he would reveal what a well put together human being he really is. And when I say he, I mean me. When I say me, I mean I. And when I say I, I mean Connor Thompson. But rather than just having Connor ramble on about himself, Connor thought that he would have his own friends share their own personal views about himself. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Connor Thompson behind the curtain. Thompson is a Give me three words to describe Connor Thompson. Outgoing, handsome, and an egotistical fiend who has no remorse for human life. If I had a bag of chips, he'd be unsalted, useless. Connor Thompson is a, a loyal man. Uh, he's probably my best friend, and he's a uh, narcissistic bum who backstabs you. Everybody knows the story about Connor getting the part of Isaac three days before the first showing of Ticking. But now, he only takes three days before every show he does to memorize his lines. I mean, what's this kid's problem? Three days? You heard it right, folks. <coughs> only three days. When I asked him why, why he did this to all of us, why he put our shows in jeopardy, he spit on my face and said, do you know who I am? Connor Thompson has a great taste in deodorant, and even better taste in socks. And he's pretty phenomenal at making people feel awful about themselves. <coughs> Who's Connor? Talking to Connor Thompson is like talking to this Altoids can. Hi! How are you? See? No response. You can't talk to a tin can, and you can't talk to Connor Thompson. What are you doing? Can I smoke in here? No. I love Connor so much that I named my baby after him. Oh, that's a good Connor Jr. I have a kid. Making planes with Connor Thompson is like getting a root canal. Quite frankly, it's very painful. This is Connor Thompson, all right? You ever seen the Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? In that tunnel, all right? They get in that ship and they're going through the tunnel and they're going faster and faster and faster and faster and you're holding on to your socks because you're like, what is this? And then all the stuff's happening on the walls and it's turning colors. And I'm like freaking out in it, you know? Because he just, he scares me. He's like Willy Wonka. You step into the office, you only see half of him. You know, you never really know what's going on. You see all these colors, and there's like a tarantula thing, I think. I don't know, but it was scary. And that's that's really what it's been like with Connor Thompson over the past three years. It's um, It's been a real joy um, after it was done. And, uh, I mean, it was quite a ride. It was quite a wild ride. But, uh, but, I mean, I'll never forget my trip to the Wonka factory. Well, I remember one time I was emceeing the PPC Showcase. It was my first time I'm seeing him, so I was kind of nervous. And I thought I'd ask Connor Thompson for some advice, you know, because he's really talented. And he told me to lose five pounds and then come back to him. It's only five pounds. Chico Amadeus, yeah? Do you want to know about Connor Thompson? I tell you about him. I met him working in the army for Castro during Bave Pigs. 
Jeff Gay wanted to set his mind over here and take over. We don't think so. Connor rushes in, 30 men at him. He kills them all with his mind. Never in my life have I seen a man who can do these things. So, we did the show, senior year, a doll's house. All right. I was Nora Helmer, the lead, and uh, I had a husband. Connor was the husband, Torvald. We basically were on for the entire show, and I started out the show. So the beginning of the show, you walk in, I come in, and I'm supposed to be all cheery and looking for my husband because he's working, right? So I come in, and I see my husband hard at work, right? Well, I come in, and uh, Connor's not there. So I started doing my lines, kept doing my lines as if he was there, until I realized he wasn't coming. And as I'm waiting, I thought to myself, where was Connor? Where was he? I'll have a, uh, a beefy burrito. You have any money? No. You want the change? I'll take the change. There is nothing better than eating Taco Bell on a Friday night with nothing else to do. My life is smooth. all seriousness. Connor, it's been a great four years with you. Uh, it's been great being your wife twice. He's a gentleman and he'll do anything for anybody. Um, he's pretty selfless. He's a great kid. He definitely speaks his mind, but he doesn't need to do it all the time. You know, he's he's quiet, but when he has something to say, it's, it's important and he means it. Connor's a great guy. He's extremely dependable. He's always been there for everybody in the group, no matter what. And, uh, He's got a heart of gold. I'll never forget. <laughs> I love you, Connor. Connor is super, super awesome. Uh, I'm gonna miss him a ton. He helped me out so much, and uh, I wouldn't be half the actor I am, let alone half the person I am, without him. Congratulations and good luck, buddy. You're gonna kick some butt. Take it easy. Don't work too hard. And I'll be seeing you around. Well, this marks the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. But before we part ways, I just want to take this time to thank all my family and friends that have supported me throughout the years. But now, it's time for me to go to bed, because it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and we just got done editing this video. Isn't that right, Andy? That's right, Connor. That's right. So, thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoy my open house. Good night. There's a time for love and a time for living. You take a chance and face the wind. An open road and a road that's hidden. A brand new A path not taken, the choice is up to you, my friend. Not so long, but you might awake to a brand new life, brand new life, a brand new life around the bend.